Hi everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today I have a fun toy uh, that I want to share with everyone. Right, it has just arrived and uh, I can't wait to open this. Right, I think previously I have actually uh, showed in my video, right, um, a sort of a DIY built together uh, device for hand grinder. So it actually motorized the hand grinder and that's actually uh, built by uh, Thomas and a friend. Right, so they actually gather all the components from uh, uh, Taobao and then they put together this uh, motorized device which uh, actually um, uh, powered by a rechargeable battery and uh, it's travel friendly and it can actually be brought uh, anywhere you like as long as it has a uh, power and you can actually charge it and you can use it. Um, but the trouble with that is you have to find all the different components uh, from uh, Taobao or anywhere you can get them and then you have to assemble them and the cost of doing that is probably the same as uh, the unit which I have uh, purchased right so this is actually a, another one that's manufactured in China right what it does is uh, similar to uh, what uh, Thomas and friend has built right so this one actually uh, is a motorized uh, device that helps to motorize your hand grinder and today I'm going to test it with uh, the Comandante right so let's go ahead. let's open this and then see uh, what's inside this box? Right, so this is the box, right? It has just arrived yesterday. Right, it comes with a simple instruction. Um, it is actually quite well padded. Leave this is uh, I'm not too sure what this is. This is some tools, a bellow for blowing out the coffee, a brush for cleaning. I believe this is the uh, power adapter, right? So later on, I'm going to see what is what is this all about. And then of course, this is what we have purchased. It comes with uh, quite a lot of. Uh, uh, adapter for you to adapt to a different kind of grinder but the one I choose to choose from is actually for Commandante so let me pull out this uh, gadget oh it's pretty heavy right, so this is how it looks like so let me put it down onto the table and show you right this is actually the uh, the device that help to motorize your grinder Right, hope you can see better. Okay, my camera is drooping a little bit, so let me adjust the angle for you. Yep, okay, that's perfect. So you can see this is the grinder itself. Let's unbox this one, see what is this. Yep, it is a power adapter, which uh, I hope is long enough for me to adapt to connect to uh, my. Uh, power over there right I, I think should be should be long enough so the plug in is actually here right so this plugs in and then um, I'm just going to plug it over here later on right so before that let's take out all the accessories that come to it and I'm going to read the instruction manual quickly right, to show you how uh, this can be done right it comes with quite a lot of different things Right, it comes with uh, screws, right? Two big screws, right? Another one here. So I'm just gonna leave it here. I, I believe that's all that comes with it. Right, I believe this one slots in this way. And then I think the screw here for you to adjust the ah okay let me see okay so I believe this is where it goes to here let me see whether this one goes through nope or is it the smaller one yep it is a smaller one okay so let's see whether it works I 
tell you what, let us read the instructional manual and there's this uh, accessories, right? Um, I would say the CNC is actually pretty well made. Right, let's throw this, all these away first. Right, so it comes with this ring. Right, so I'll figure out what this is later on. Right, um, comes with uh, this are magnetic. I'm not too sure what this does, but we're going to find out. Ah, so this is where this thing will be. Right, I think there are magnets here. I think this will be coming as one piece. Let me see whether it can actually be magnetized here. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> so this is actually magnetized. So I believe this is this looks like a funnel, right? When you open this, right? When you throw bins inside, it will funnel to your coffee grinder, right? So this is pretty neat, right? And here's the cover. Of course, this I believe this is plastic, um, but the base is metal. This is metal, right? This is aluminum, right? So this is actually quite well built. And uh, ah, these are the two pieces that will grip onto your grinder. Uh, let's read for more instruction. Okay, so you have to fix number six. So let's check what's number six. Number six, okay, number six is here. Uh, <laughs> so let's, uh, let's see whether this. see what this one does this is definitely something to grab onto your grinder so we can remove this now right and by right I believe this should attach to here as it grind uh, this is how the uh, motor drive the shaft at the center right so there must be a way to tighten this Okay, uh, the instruction is not actually not very clear. So if you're gonna buy this, you could really you could really gotta figure out how to actually do this. Alright, so now um, we have to figure out how to actually change the attachment to something that fits on the Commandante. So this one apparently fits on the Commandante. So right now I'm actually removing this screw. Right, there are three M3 screws here which secure this uh, adapter. So now we're just going to take it out. Um, the machining is done pretty well. Right, it's very very well machined. The screw has dropped out. The interesting thing is this can be adapted to other grinders as well, other manual hand grinders. Right, so now you can see this is the part that connects to the motor on top. And right now we will be using this one. Right, so now this will be fixed on top of here. And then we can just screw back on with the entry screws. Screw is in. Let's put the other two in as well. Okay. Right, so now the adapter has been secured onto the motor. And now, okay, let's see how we can actually. 
Okay, to let you see how it works here, basically this grind, hand grinder will actually be connected here, right? And uh, as the bottom turn, right, it will actually grind to the catcher here, right? So right now we need to adjust the height so that it will actually uh, crack on this properly, right? Before, okay, so right now I'm just going to do it this way. Right, and I'm going to put on the commandante by slotting in the adapter and then I'm going to slowly move this up so this will be where the position will be and then I'm just going to screw in right screw in gently right then I'm going to move it slightly above right so this will be the position where the shaft of the command then will be driven by the motor on this motorized device okay so now i have to figure out a way uh, to sort of secure this It's actually quite tight okay so basically that's all and then we're going to turn the grinder over we're going to turn on the power and then we're going to try right okay let's hope that i don't drop my commandante right but before that let's see whether our shaft our funnel okay you can see that our funnel now can't fit in so very simple i'm just going to adjust this gently to allow the commandante to slide down a little bit right and then before I put on I'll just make sure that the funnel is in right the funnels are magnetic which is a very is a very nice move right and then move your commandante up so that it will be it will be driven by the shaft so the shaft is connected to the adapter and then we screw back on right so this will actually a position position it nicely okay, I think it is slightly tilted okay, I have to make sure that both sides actually balance right so I think this is this is it right so now I can actually uh, open up the glass catcher and then I'm not going to use the glass catcher I'm going to use my dosing cup at the bottom so if I want I can actually raise this closer so that there will be minimum spillage uh, so I tell you what let's use my um, let's see whether I have anything that actually prop this up temporarily uh, it's too high for this okay let's use the Akaya scale, right? It fits nicely below, right? Uh, still, there's a little gap. I think we can actually make this higher, but I think that let, let's try the grinder for now, right? To see whether it actually grind um, properly. this is variable speed right which means the speed can be controlled uh, I'm not too sure my grind setting on the commandante but let's just give it a try let me zoom in to show you better right side so they can see better right, so this is the uh, variable speed grinder right so now let's turn on the power let's hope nothing explodes 
right the power is on right it's good thing right you can see that the light is on um okay let's turn on the power and see how it goes can you hear that ah it is turning right okay let me bring the camera closer to give you a better look Right, let's drop some beans and test how it grinds. Um, I will use medium rolls first, right, to uh, to see whether you can grind properly. Uh, this is eighteen grams of coffee. Um, so open up the top catch. Turn on the grinder. It is grinding, but the problem is the coffee is coming out everywhere. Oh my god, this is so fine. I believe. Yep, this is actually very fine. Right, um, we will use the catcher first, right, for this time. Because I think um, we don't want the coffee ground to spray everywhere. So I'm going to dose another 8 gram. And then let's uh, grind out this coffee. Right, use the use the pot original catcher from Commandante. Right. Right, so let's turn on the grinder again. Okay. So let me uh, get a vacuum cleaner to clean out the mess here. Right, then we will try again. Right, so this will bring you much closer to this machine. Okay, I'm going to sort of start the grinder so that you can see. Uh, I think it's a little bit too dark, but I hope you can see that. Right, I think it's a bit too dark here. Right, let me switch over to another camera to give you a better view, right? Right, right now, I'm going to turn on the grinder. Can you see that, Danny? It is quite stable, right? Right, okay, so sounds good. Let's put some coffee bean and see how it goes, right? Right, so it is already clean up. Right, so let's throw a little bit of beans inside and see the grind size again. Turn on. So this is the grind size. Um, it is still a little bit coarse for filter coffee. So let's down to 20. Right, uh, because of uh, the adjustment, we have again to turn at the bottom. That's 20. So it, it gets a little bit messy because you are actually trying to adjust the grinder here. Uh, usually we will turn the grinder upside down so that you can you don't see any coffee ground coming out. But 
now coffee grounds are getting everywhere but we'll clean it later right so now let's put in the catcher uh, pour in some beans and then we do one last test on the grind setting ah i should have put on the Right, okay, I think this is good for filter coffee. So let's make a cup of filter coffee. Um, but before that, I have to uh, clean out the mess here so that I can get my setup nice and ready. Then we will make some nice and delicious coffee. Right, so now let's uh, grind some coffee. Right, good thing is because the shaft when the towel is off, uh, the shaft is actually fixed and then you can start to adjust your grind setting on the Commandante without uh, fixing your you know, handle over and then we can start to adjust and uh, let's try to do filter coffee so let's do one that's 10 click that's 20 click that's 30 click uh, let's throw a few beans inside and see how 30 clicks grind size looks like. Right, let's put this in. Just a few beans will do. Switch on the grinder. Currently, I'm grinding at about 250 RPM. Okay, let's uh, open the bottom catch and see the grind size. Well, these are pretty coarse. So I think um, 30 is a bit too much. So let's reduce it by, uh, by 5. I probably turned the wrong direction so because of that I have to turn back all the way right that's the problem with the Commandante right you there's no indication of what grind size you are currently at right uh, it will be a lot easier to use it on a easy presso whereby the adjustment is actually on top uh, which I will be testing on the easy presso as well if I got the adapter right so okay now is zero so now let's turn to 25 that's five that's 10, so it's 15 now. Okay, so that's 25, right? So let me clean up the mess here, then we will grind coffee. And I guess this is where the uh, sort of a blower comes in. Okay, let's try to clean up. So to make sure that all the coffee ground out is out so that the coffee will not be affected by the taste of the coffee from the previous uh, coffee that I used. Right, nothing coming out. Right, so let's remove the catcher. Okay, you can see that there's a little bit of coffee. Okay, so now let's measure Let's do 20 grams, right? Right, and I'm gonna make a ice filter coffee. Right, so, um, because it's very hot now here in Singapore, right, so it's a perfect uh, day for an ice filter coffee. So let's see whether, um, I, I'm quite sure Commandante can fill up at least uh, 20 grams of coffee. So you can see that now my power is off. I'm just going to funnel all my coffee inside. And uh, you can see, okay, let me bring my camera closer to show you. Right, as you can see, 
right this funnel is designed quite well and nothing is trapped inside this funnel it goes all the way down to the uh, commandante main body right right so let's close up the bottom catch right I want you to observe the grinding so now let's turn it on Right, you can hear that there's no more being grinding, which means the grinding is completed. Let's go all the way to zero power, and then let's take out the bottom catcher and see the grind distribution. Right, I will say that it is very fluffy, right? That's what you expect from the Comandante. Right, very fluffy ground. Uh, no clumping or whatsoever. Right, beautiful, uh, beautiful ground here. Right, not too sure whether you can see. Right. Okay, so now I think it has done a good job and uh, power it off. And then we're going to put it aside. And we're going to make some coffee, right? So let me get ready the ice uh, so that we were going to make, make an ice with the coffee. I'm going to show you how I make the ice coffee for a perfect summer day. Right, so you can see I have already put about 200 grams of ice and 20 grams of coffee. So I will just be pulling about, I'm just going to dose about 200 grams of water. Right, and uh, of course, you're going to go straight into the ice here. And I will not be warming my um, entire um, sort of a Kalita setup here because I will be using, uh, I don't have, to, I don't need all these to be heated up. So let me just pour in the coffee. Right, it's nice and fluffy. Right, let me bring up the camera to give you a better angle. Right, water has point. I'm using water at 96 degrees Celsius. First part will be the blooming. I'll be blooming, I'll be pouring about 50 grams of our uh, hot water and wait for 30 seconds Alright, drink grams of water. Second pour. All the way to two hundred grams. Right. And I will give you a stir. 